Hi folks, um, I'm going to start a click view back to basics series um, and this is kind of one of the first ones that I'm going to do and basically what this is, is uh, we want to show you how to format charts and list boxes and other objects that have captions and stuff. So for example, uh, what I mean is if we click on chart 2 you can see it kind of greys out, um, if you click on chart 1 you can see that that's selected. And again, if you click on the properties of this chart, you can see lots of different options across the top here. Um, you can also, you can actually, if we say, uh, change the inactive caption, um, and we make it green, let's say. And if we click OK, in fact, we'll make the active and inactive green. Again, this is just for the purposes of this video. And what we can do is we can click on the Format Painter tool and we can uh, we'll double click it and then it'll hold it. And it will apply the formatting that we've we've selected across here. Um, if I undo all of that, there is another way where you can, uh, you can change lots of things. So, if we want to change the the format of the the colors and the text, um, what font you want to use, what font size, etc., you can click and drag where you've selected all of your objects. And now, if you right click on any one of these, you'll get to see properties, but you won't have the full list of properties for like you would for the chart. And here we can change um, the font for all of the objects. So all of these list boxes and these two charts. So we're going to make the size 14, the layout, we're going to untick use borders, we're going to untick rounded corners, we're going to untick allow move size so we can't move it. Um, we're going to change the cap inactive caption to green. We we'll copy that. We're going to change the active caption to green as well. And we're going to change the font to white. We'll copy that. And we'll change the active font to white. So now if we click OK, you'll see that the changes we have made will affect all of the objects because we, we selected them all at the start. So now if we click Apply, click OK, you can see now that the uh, each of these objects have been changed based on uh, selecting all of the objects. So again, it's simple, you just click and drag the objects that you want to change the format and for, or change the captions or the font, etc. Um, and that's a quick way of doing it. I'll be doing more um, back to basic videos. This is the first one. I hope that helps and I'll see you next video. Cheers.